Hey guys, and welcome to Contextual Electronics. My name is Chris, and I wanted to talk a little bit about the program, and more specifically about how you should expect to be using it if you do sign up for it. People often ask, well, how much time should I be spending on the program? First off, let's talk about how the program actually is working these days. We used to have an article about how much time people would be spending. It was actually based around the, the way the program used to be organized. What we're doing these days is we work in modules. So, right, so instead of having a singular project that has an ADC, an LED driver, and a power supply, and a bunch of other stuff, like the Bench Buddy did, we actually break those out into individual modules. Now, this is relevant to the time uh, question, because if you want to, you can pick and choose which modules you want to spend more time on, if you want to s skip a module, or if you want to come back to it later. You should, in theory, be able to go and work on them independently, because often you're just kind of working through them on your own, and then you can go and ask questions on the forum if you're a participate member. So uh, that is kind of the baseline of how the course works. When I am asked that question, I usually say about two to five hours a week would be a good starting point. Uh, you know, that's logging in, watching some videos, doing layout, trying different things, shopping for parts. You could easily spend, you know, depending how fast you want to go through the past content or the existing modules, you could easily spend 20 hours a week doing it. But it's going to come down to how fast you want to work through that older content. And uh, we've set up the course so that you can work on older content as well, right? So a lot of these modules we've already worked on, but you'll be approaching them and you'll say, oh, well, there's this power board that was made as part of the course, and now I'm going to go and start working on this power board. And it's designed so that people can come in and do it after the fact as well. That's a very big piece of why we restructure the course in this way. So I'd say two to five hours a week, what that's really going to determine you know, if you do more, you're going to get through the course faster. You're going to move towards uh, kind of where we are currently. We're working ahead a bit more. Uh, if it's less, well, it's just going to take you longer. And that's up to you. You know, another thing that we really wanted to focus on, the reason we restructure the course is because we understand that you probably have a life. I mean, <laughs> I don't, but you probably do. Uh, you know, people have families, they have jobs, they have houses to take care of, all of these things. And it's a, it's a big concern. So, you know, if you want to, uh, you know, you can go as slow as you like or as fast as you'd like. Like I said, I usually uh, I recommend two to five hours a week. Also, because we're set up in a month to month billing, another reason we switched to that is because we wanted to make sure people could, if they figure out, well, this month is really bad and it's not going to be work for me, you can just not be a member of Contextual Electronics that month. There's no pressure. It's all billed month to month. As long as you uh, cancel before the end, the last day of your current month, you won't be charged for the following month. So we really wanted to focus on flexibility and making sure that people are you know, able to work when they want to. And we obviously, we, we want people to keep going. We want them to, the, the whole point of the course is to further you along your electronics journey. And uh, you're going to do that by being consistent. And hopefully, the course is good enough that you want to keep working on it. So, and we'd love to hear your thoughts on that. So if you have any questions, you can ask down in the YouTube comments below. If you have any burning questions, you can always send an email to support at contextualelectronics.com. We're not as fast on that because there's a lot of support requests coming in, but we will try and answer every single one there. Uh, so I hope you decide to jo join Contextual Electronics. Like I said, we're very flexible, and you can kind of drive at your own pace, but we are there to support you when you are jumping in and trying new things. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.